Hi you guys, so I know that in a previous video I said I was going to do a video reviewing products from a website that I really love, but I never received it. I went to the post office and they told me that they could not find my mailbox, so they sent it back. I got in touch with the company that I ordered it from and they said as soon as they get it back, they'll send it back to me, which is going to take like another week or two, and I have to pay only $4 for shipping. So it's going to be a little bit, a little while for that. In the meantime, I'm going to do this video on just like my everyday look, like a nice sunset eye, um, nothing too crazy, and then we'll see what I can come up with in the next couple of videos. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, guys enjoy the video. So the first thing I do is well, ignore my hair. The first thing I do is ignore my double chin. Um, did you be beautiful with or without it? Anyways, I of course start off with a primer. I've been having a really hard time finding a good primer. Um, the latest flop was the Hard Candy Sure Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. Yeah, um, that's a glue stick. It's like a straight up glue stick, you guys. This is terrible. It smells like one, and when you put it on your face, it's like yeah it just feels like you're putting glue on your face it's terrible it makes everything so trashy i've been trying the milani prime shield face primer mattifying it feels really good i don't know if it's doing anything for me i feel like it's kind of not but it feels really nice and i really need something that fills up the pores because you can't see it but i have really big pores in my nose and everything likes to stick out and also take it on the neck i just take it just a little bit and put it on my neck too just help everything blend in better. Because <laughs> when you get that, you know, jawline, no jawline effect. Yeah, it's not good. But we make it work. So then I take the Tarte Shape Tape Light Sand for an eyeshadow primer. I don't use a lot of high-end products. But one of the ones I do use, it's this one for a concealer especially. Because it just cancels out everything. I know it's a little steep. But if you're going to splurge... This is definitely worth it. Please excuse my dirty beauty blender. I had some new ones come in the mail, but y'all know how that went. So, I have like 10 beauty blenders coming in the mail. Because like five of them are different than the other five. And I haven't used the other five really that much. So, is that going to be good or I'm going to give them to somebody. Either way, I'm going to test it out. Okay, not bad. Once that's all blended out. Then, I take my loose powder. I use the 15 Light and Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me powder. And then I take the, is that the one I use? I don't know. The AOA Studios E129 brush. I love these brushes. I had some new ones of these. Like, these have last me a really good while. I just feel like I need some new ones because they're starting to get, like, brittle. Um, especially since I was in a hurry the other day. And I thought it was a really good idea to use a hair dryer to dry them. And I ran, like, three out of my brushes. So don't do that. So just dust it on there and that keeps it from being so sticky and helps things not to be so patchy. Now take a bigger brush and just knock off whatever excess is on there. It shouldn't be a whole lot. Anyway, so then I know some people do, some people don't. I do the eyes first. And my favorite thing to use, this is just like my normal everyday look, like I said. The LA Colors Eyeshadow Nude Palette. And it was a dollar. Like around Christmas time, so hell yeah, that's not the brush I wanted. Anyway, because <laughs> I'm a cheap bitch, I use the AOA Studios E130 brush for this. Now, for a lot of times, I'll take a bronzing shade, like this is my contour palette from the Color Workshop, and I'll take like this nice darky one. None of these have names on the eyeshadow either, and I'll just swirl my brush into there and create the transition shade. And just blend that in there. I'll just do the other eye off camera so I don't waste anybody's time. Yes. Okay. It's so nice and brown. Not too heavy yet. Then I take this brick red shade that has seen better days because I love it. I just pat it in there and outer corner in because you want like most of the depth to be on the outer corner. And that blends really well with the brown shade. 
kind of bring it up just a little bit, not a whole lot. I feel like I need more, like it's not deep enough. Oh god, too much. And when you got it mostly concentrated where you want it, I take a bigger brush like the, where's it at? There it is. The E126 brush from AOA Studios. It's a little bit bigger of a blending brush. I just blend out those edges into oblivion. And ignore that right there because you're going to cover that up with like foundation, which, with foundation and stuff, which I don't understand. I'm just going to just a little bit more how people do the eyes and stuff last because how do you get rid of that because I always like I'm a hot mess when I do makeup it's just like whatever gets the job done anyways look two shades and you're pretty much done with the upper part just make sure you blend it out really nice nothing's patchy yeah okay so then like I said this is a really easy eye look I take this is annoying there it is. There we go. The AOA Studios E131 brush. And I dip into my highlighter. <laughs> this is busted as hell. This is the Miss Rose Shimmer Highlighter. And yeah, I love this stuff. I know it's not really looking that great in this lighting. I know it might look a little bit patchy, but I love it. And I just pack that on the brush. I don't think I'm supposed to wet it. Anyway. Oh shit, that looks so white on camera, it's not even funny. But that's okay. I mean, we can work with that. That's no problem. And just, this kind of brush really helps getting up in that crease and stuff. Putting it where you want it. Then you're going to take your smaller brush again, the 130 brush. And just blend that into each other. So it's not just such a harsh line. Yes. And then I'm gonna take this like dark pink blush. This is a blush and I got it for Christmas so I have no idea where it came from. And I'm gonna take the same br flat brush, the E131, pack it on there. And I'm gonna go in the inner corner. Yes. And this is just like a really nice sun city eye. Is this the inner corner or outer? I forget, anyways. Pack it in there. So there's that. Then you're going to take the 130 brush back into your brick sh shade. There it is. And blend that together. Boom. A little bit more color to the inner corner. Yeah. And there's that. Okay, so that's pretty much the eye done. Loved. And I will do the other eye off camera. Be right back, guys. So now that that eye is done, I take a just regular baby wipe. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Just a regular baby wipe. You don't need makeup wipes. They're the same thing. And just clean up all that underneath the eye. Not a whole lot. Just we're gonna clean it up even more with foundation and stuff. Then I take this is the Elf liquid liner. It says midnight, and the bottle is kind of blue. But it's black, I mean, it kind of surprised me. I was like, ooh, a nice little dark blue number. And then I was like, black eyeliner, wow. But I like it because it's got like a nice fine tip that I kind of hold sideways like this because this is like, I don't know if you can tell. But anyways, I just take it and I sweep it up. I can't do this in the thing. I didn't even wear it. There we go. So I just take it and sweep it up. Just kind of like a quick motion. Don't dilly dally or it won't be smooth. And then I don't go all the way to the edge because I'm going to clean some of that up. Swipe it back in. Just quick movements. I find that I mess up more when I'm trying to make smaller movements. You know what I mean? Oh, that's janky. But anyways, it's there. And then I take it like this instead of just like the tip like that. So it's like flat against the lashes. And move it over there. And just swipe it on. Anymore. Whenever I dip it in, I kind of knock off some of the excess so it's not so clumped or clogged up with product. 
and go in the lashes and swipe it in. I get it to the lash as close as possible. Then when I get to here where my eyelashes in, I just blend it out. So it doesn't stop in a harsh line. So it doesn't stop in a harsh line. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> I'm trying to focus and be quiet. So I know it looks kind of rough up there, but we're going to fix that. Let me show you how to do that. Where's my brush? Oh. I take the AOA Studios E133 brush. This is my favorite brush. I know it's technically an eyebrow brush, but it's got like a nice fine tip on it on this end to help me clean up my wing. So I just take the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in Light Pale, and I just dip it in there, get some products on it, and I knock off the excess. And I just go in like that. I know the bottom of it's not the issue, it's the top, but I'll show you how to fix that in a second. I just like to cut it so it's nice, I know it's clean, you know what I mean? So I just take it just a little bit, not a whole lot. Right. This one's about how her last day, I swear. I think it's, I'm about out. But anyway, just take some product, dip it in there, and then ever so slightly clean up the upper line. I know it's a little bit difficult, but you see how I got rid of that harsh line? I got my brush. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Clean it up up there, and then to fix that, all you gotta do, I just use the same brush to help with it, is, and then just wipe on the baby wet, get rid of the concealer, take some of that dark brick shade, get on the tip of the brush. This brush is so great, I love this, it's so universal. Let's get a little bit on there, and then just color that back in. So, see, you can't even tell that you messed up. Ta-da! Now, that's the eyes done. Don't worry so much about this concealer down here, because that's all going to blend in with the rest of our face, which we're going to do now. I'll take my crappy blender. And then, okay, so I love the Wet n' Wild Photo Focus foundations. They're my absolute favorite, but since I got a tan, I'm having a hard time finding my shade. I have bought three of these foundations, and none of these are my shade. Like, two of these are too light and one of them's too dark. So, so this for a different time. I found the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 17 Warm and Nude Beige. So, just take that. Put a little bit on my spoon. Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's too much. There we go. And just dab that on. I need my mirror. <laughs> Okay, you can see my freckles real good there. But anyway, I know this lighting is kind of janky, but that's just gonna take a minute. Cause like I was gonna buy some like light and equipment and stuff, and then I went to get an oil change, and they were like, "You need new tires, like now, sis." So priority. <laughs> to either spend a couple hundred dollars on a hobby or get some tires so I don't work and die. So I'd rather not work and die. Take a little bit more on there. Oh, there. Ah, too much. I always do that. That's why I hate these kind of bottles. Like, you can't control how much comes out. So I'm pat that in on that side. Trying to get up there close to the eyeliner. That's one reason why I like the beauty blenders with, like, the beveled end. So that you can really get in there. In the lines and stuff. Blow it out real nice. I don't use a whole lot of this foundation because if you use a whole lot, it gets cakey real quick. So, just gonna make the face all one color. Ooh, sticky tutorials moment. <laughs> so, blend that in. Get some more. Luna, what are you doing back there? Sorry, guys, I'm not gonna put my dog up because I mean, this is her house. <laughs> and then she'll just like whine and stuff, so I'll let her out. So this is easier. One reason I don't do the brows until the very end is so that I don't get foundation on them. Luna? Luna. <laughs> That's my guard dog. Anyway. Blend that out real nice. Now do not forget, especially if you're a girl with like hardly any jawline like that. 
Uh, what are you doing? Ignore my Christmas tree in the back. I just have no storage at the moment because there's a cat in the storage building that keeps wanting to use the bathroom on everything and I don't put my nice Christmas tree out there. So it's gonna stay where she's at. So make sure you blend that in really good. Oh there. And you know what? It's okay if you have a double chin and things like that. Wow, that's so much lighter than my neck. Oh my god. It looks so light in this lighting, it's not even funny. Oh my god, this might not be my shade either, fudge. Okay. So make sure you got that all good. I look so light now. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's done, I put down a powder before I put on anything. Oh, but before that, I put on my concealer. Of course, the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Sand. I see a lot of people do the whole thing where there's like swipe, 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 swipe. You do not need that much. I just like dot it on like that. And I mean, I have super dark circles under my eyes most of the time because it's a genetic thing. It's not just because I get tired and stuff. And then you're just going to blend that out. And you're going to blend it up into the concealer that you use to cut your wing. You know, I know it's hard to do a wing. It took a lot of practice for me. But if I can do it and I have the shakiest hands in the world, then you can too. Believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. No matter what anybody else says, you're supposed to love you more than anyone. Because it's like RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell is anybody else supposed to love you? And I take that to heart. Mm -hmm. Looking better. Okay. I'm gonna do some on my nose. It's impossible for makeup to stick on my nose. Like throughout the day, it just comes off, and it's been so annoying. Anyway, <sighs> my Carolina crack that cylinder up skews me. Now, before I put in, put on anything else, I put down a base powder, the Fit Me Loose Power and 15 Light Power Powder. Normally, I use the Elf Kabuki brush, but <laughs> it kind of got messed up in the hole. Um, trying to dry my brushes thing. Yeah, don't do that. You'll melt them. I was stupid. So I take some on this. This is a angled blush brush from Lossier. But screw it. It's the biggest brush I have right now. I'm just going to pack that in. I don't really pack it underneath my under eye anymore. To like set it or bake or whatever. Because I found that the more I did that, the more creasy it got. And the more crackly. So, don't do that. You just pat it on the face. Now, don't forget to do your neck. Never forget that. One thing I don't like about this loose powder is it gets everywhere, but it works so much better than the packed powder. Because it just, oh, it's just so light and fluffy. Like, you guys, like my shirt <laughs> and everything, like my pants. There, once you got that all set on there, where's my man? Okay. Then we're going to do the contour, and this helps, when you put a powder down first, it helps it not stick in one place. So I'm going to take this darker shade and the Color Workshop Contour Palette and just dab it in there. Same brush because it's nice, well, it's probably should use the other one, but I'm going to use this one. Anyways, and just cut that cheekbone. Towards your mouth. I know a lot of people say towards the chin, but do it towards your mouth because it's more open. You know what I mean? And I suck it in because I have like a plumper face and I don't know where the hell, I'm, you know, the thing's supposed to go. Unless I look 50 pounds lighter, so. <laughs> Not that extreme. Yeah, and blend that out so it doesn't look like dirt. Then I take a little bit more. Put it up here, give your face some shape. Yes. Now, if you're a bigger girl and you don't have a jawline like me, do not put it right here. Because, like my style profile, I have a horrible profile. And if you do that, it's gonna look just here, I'll show you. It's gonna be so bad. 
don't know if you can see it or not, but like now your neck doesn't match your face and you got this weird dark line right there. Like you see what I mean? It's like, it doesn't help anything. So you're going to go outside and people just be like, what the fuck did you do? But there's no shame in having a double chin or a weak jawline, whatever. You're still beautiful. I have to tell myself that every day because it's so just hard to deal with sometimes. But anyway, that didn't take long, did it? That's done. Then I take the Tarte Blush in Party. <laughs> this isn't a free sample thing. That's the only reason I have it, but I like it. Put it on the same brush. Smile a little bit. Apples of the cheeks and out. Now I'm just like tapping it in there. It looks so damn light in this camera. Weird. And I put some on the chin, on the tip of the nose, give it more color. And then highlight. Yay! Once again, my favorite highlighter. Before I do a brush, I take it on my pinky and just swipe it on there. Up there. And down here. Sometimes I wait to do the highlights after my brows. But I'm just feeling different today. I'm gonna put it right there. Also, tip of the nose or the nose line, whatever you call that, top of the nose, chin. Move it right there. Okay. Then I'm gonna tie some off and put it on the e.l.f. highlighting brush. Pack that shit in there. Yes. I need some better lighting for this highlighter to really pop. Blend that out on the chin. Mm the nose take some more for the cheek because you want to glow honey there we go and that's it for that so next we have brows eyelashes and nail that's currently covered over in foundation thanks Nikki tutorials <laughs> anyway um first you know brush out your brows Make sure you pluck them and everything before your makeup because it's kind of hard to do that after you put makeup on and then you can mess it up. So anyways, I use the Amuse Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette. It did have like a nice sharp end on it when I first got it, but now it doesn't. So whatever. Just use the flash as you can find and go underneath that brow line on the other side. And I just kind of like fill mine in I don't really do like the fancy shit the other girls do where I don't know you know what I'm talking about like the brow that everybody wants yeah I don't see any I just don't know how to do that for one thing and I just like to fill in all the bald spots and don't worry if you do go outside of the lines because you can just clean that up with concealer so I usually just like fill it in willy-nilly whoops that was too far this is so hard to do with the camera a little bit more right there make sure you don't feel it in like too harsh because then it just looks like awful anyway okay the other end of the brow brush normally i do use the instant age rewind concealer but that's kind of running low so i'm gonna take the short shape tape just kind of brush it on like that and be more precise in my mirror and like get rid of that little spot and just carve that shit out I know people say it takes them forever to do their makeup, but this, I don't know, it might take me a half hour or so at the most, really. I'm going to cut that right there. Just a little bit more up top. Not too much, because I do like the way that's, well, I think the top's good. Then we do the other brow. Be right back, guys. Now, you're probably wondering how... <laughs> now that you have the concealer all over your eyebrows see it's not really matching to the foundation and stuff I ain't gonna match that since you've done foundation and stuff before brows you just take your loose powder and I take this brush right here the AOA Studios A129 put just a little bit on there just a little bit and then blend that up the gosh it's okay brush it out brush it out oh god okay and then just blend it into the concealer about dump this loose powder. <laughs> I had it like this. <laughs> I don't know how it didn't all come out. 
just very carefully. Eh. You guys, I just pour this on my pants, brushing around that line. Anyways, uh, just it's been a day. Skills for me. So, eyebrows done. Everything's almost done except for the eyelashes and lips. Now I'll do eyelashes after the powder, so that the powder doesn't fall on my eyelashes. Oh my god, I'm not messing. Now, another, one of the other higher end products I use is the Roller Lash from Benefit. Just because I love the brush. I love how it grabs. And I put on mascara and then do the eyelash curler. So just sleep on there. I don't do fake eyelashes because, I mean, I'm not bragging or nothing, but I have long eyelashes in the first place. And it just seems like a hassle and like an extra expense. Now I don't usually do an under eye eyeliner just because it tends to close the eye. You want to keep them open and bright. Okay. Then I take, where's it at? Okay. A lighter. And my eyelash curler. I don't know what this is from. Be Mark Pro, whatever. It's really pretty. And before I curl my, curl my lashes, I heat it up. Just stick it under there. <laughs> this is just be very careful and make sure you touch it to make sure it's you know not too hot before you put it on your eyelashes to curl them. Mm-hmm. Hold it there for about 10 seconds or so. Maybe not even that long. Okay. Then I take the other end of my eyebrow brush and separate those lashes. And another coat of mascara. That's the eyes done. Okay. Now, I'll show you guys on the other eye what I mean about closing it in. So, let me just do the mascara real quick and I'll just show you the eyeliner. So, I've just put some eyeliner on my lower line. I don't put it in the waterline. I put it below my eyelashes. Wow, that one's way more thicker than this one. Spills me. Whatever. I ain't gonna wear anyway. Whatever you do, don't buy this one. I just use it to show you guys. This is from my other one. And I already got the name more off of it. What the hell? So you know what I just said. Anyway. Maybe that was the one I like. I don't know. So that's done. With the eyes. Now sometimes I won't put eyeliner down here. Just so the eyes look a little bit more open. More innocent. So we're going to do the lips. And I'm going to take this foundation off. Because I don't know how many pieces of does it. Again, baby wipe. Then I'm going to take this is my favorite lipstick. Um, what is this? The Moisture You New Lipstick in 730 Nude in the City. And it's like a very similar color to my already existing lips. So it's not crazy. Like I said, this is an everyday look, nothing insane. Just waddle. And so once you got the mouth done you just kind of want to clean it up sometimes I'll take the other end of this concealer brush and clean up around the edges and you just blend it back in with powder like you did your eyebrows and that's done that's my everyday look you guys thanks so much for watching bye why do I sound just like Christine right there I have to come up with something but anyway bye guys <laughs>